Hello and welcome to FireGuard U. Today I would like to go over dry pipe systems, their components, and a few key things to look out for that could be potential warning signs for future problems. Let's start by going over the basics. What is a dry pipe system and how does it work? A dry pipe system is a system that's filled with pressurized air instead of water. The air holds the valve in the closed position with water below at the ready. The valve is located in a conditioned space where the temperature is maintained above 40 degrees. Typically, the space covered by a dry system is unconditioned space. When a sprinkler head is activated, the air escapes the system, letting the dry pipe valve trip into the open position and allowing water to enter the system. Components of a dry pipe system include the dry valve, the air compressor, the low air pressure switch, the alarm switch, and low point and auxiliary drains. Dry pipe valves, the main valve that separates the air from the water until a head is activated. Dry valves come in many different manufacturers and styles, including sizes that range from two and a half up to eight inch. Air compressors. This is the pump that supplies air to the system. This pump is automatic and has a start stop switch to sense a pressure loss and tell the compressor to kick on when the pressure drops in the system. There are many different types of air compressors. This air compressor here is a riser mount air compressor. There are also base mounted air compressors and there are tank mounted air compressors. Low air pressure switches. This switch is set below the compressor start pressure, but above the trip point of the dry valve. The supervisory signal is designed to let you know that there is a problem before the dry pipe valve trips. This switch here is an example of a low air switch. Alarm pressure switch. The alarm pressure switch will activate when the dry pipe valve trips, sending an alarm to the fire alarm panel and dispatching the fire department. Low point and auxiliary drains. These are drains in the unconditioned area of the system designed to allow water to be drained from trapped piping. We have drum drip assemblies and we have auxiliary drains. Excessive water in the low point or auxiliary drain. Being that the pipe is in unconditioned space, this is a major problem in the winter as cold season approaches because trapped water left in the dry system could potentially cause a freeze and break. If you have any questions or need help with your fire protection system, Feel free to click the link below to contact FireGuard.